Hey Red Hawks, I hope everyone's doing okay today. I thought it would be fun today to draw from inspiration. The wildflowers are coming out, the bees and the butterflies are coming, so I thought we'd draw some flowers today. And I'm gonna use this flower as inspiration for the wildflowers I'll be drawing. So, let's get started. Now, we want it to look realistic, so I'm gonna have a a variety of those flowers and I'm kind of gonna have them winding together because they all don't stand straight they kind of lean on to each other so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna work my way up with my first one and I'm gonna kind of have it go off the page and I'm just doing a wiggly line two lines and tell me what you think that is gonna turn into the stem correct I'm gonna do another one and it's going to go behind this one, so I'm going to stop and then continue. Okay, I'm going to do another one. And notice how I'm not having them all the same height, okay? I don't want them all to run into each other when I draw the actual flower parts. I want there to be some all over the page. I'm going to do another one that's going to be behind these two. So I'm stopping and making sure I'm creating that space by not having it go in front. All right, so we have some stems. Let's add some leaves. I'm just going to come up and do a few here and there. And I don't want them to all look the same. I want them to be different. Have variety. It'll make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, if you want to add detail in these leaves, you can, but I'm not going to for this project. And what I mean by that is when you see leaves and people have the line in the middle and then the V's that go down, you can do that if you'd like. Okay, so let's do the flower now, our petals for the flower. All right, and I am going to kind of do a quick wavy freestyle line and create these petals okay so just watch and this is what I'm gonna do for the whole one see how I'm kind of making them all different okay I'm gonna repeat that this one's going to go behind that one so see how I'm creating that space by not going over this it's gonna look like it's behind and the other one's in front. And our last one. Okay, so the flower I'm using on the inside, it has that red. So I'm going to repeat these lines on each inside of these. It's kind of like a wiggly circle, right? Okay. And see, I want to make that space so I didn't connect that circle because it's behind the other flower petal. All right, let's look at our flower again. Okay, so I think we're looking good. Now it's time to add color. Now, I'm going to use two greens for the stems because I want it to look realistic. So I'm going to have some value in there for light and a dark or light and a dark in my flowers let's see where's my yellows and I need a red right for the inside of the flower okay so I'm going to show you how I'm going to color one and then you can finish the rest of them yourself all right so I'm going to start with the light and I'm going to kind of do a little bit of the light green on some of the stem okay oh I told you I was only gonna do one look at me I'm doing all of them <laughs> we'll just work on the stems for that 
Okay, so now I'm just only gonna stick to this one. I'm gonna keep my word, y'all. And now where I didn't color in with the light green, I'm gonna do the darker green now, okay? And that's gonna kinda create this more realistic look to the um, stem of the flowers, having that value in the stem. Okay. So now I'm going to do my flower. This is gonna be a red. And there's a little bit of black, so I'm leaving that space right there and I'm going to add that black in. And now I'm gonna finish out with the petals. Y'all, I really like crayons more than markers. So I think I might just keep to using the crayons. I've been using markers for a lot of our videos. And I personally prefer crayons. Okay, so we have one of our flowers done. Voila. Now, you saw how I did the stem, finish it out. You saw how I colored in the the um, flower and the petals. Now, your background can be anything you want. You can leave it white. You can make it blue. You can have a rainbow. You can have a house in the background. You can have the horizon line really high up above your paper and then maybe have like a cat here sitting or a dog. It's really up to you what you wanna do. Use your creativity. Think about what elements of art you're using. Line, shape, color, texture, form, space. Which ones are you using? Share your artwork, tell me about it. Share what elements of art you use. I cannot wait to see your own creativity with this. I hope y'all had fun drawing your wildflowers inspired by the wildflowers that grow here. If you have one of these in your yard or nearby, go grab it, try to, try to use it as inspiration, okay? Have a good day, Red Hawks.